Today we're going to talk about an error message that happens, while not that frequently, enough that hopefully you'll find this useful. The error message I'm referring to is invalid product number. So when you launch point of sale, basically what comes up is an error message that says invalid product number. Let me show you how to fix that. To fix this problem, we need to find some specific files. To do that, we click on File Explorer, which is typically on your taskbar, or you can search for it using the search in Windows 10. From here, you want to go and look in your C drive. And you can see that we have a number of different folders here. The issue is, is that we need to find a folder that's called Program Data. Notice that it doesn't exist here. That's because it is a hidden folder. In order for us to see our hidden folders, we want to click on the View menu, and we want to click on Hidden Items. Now you can see that we have the folder Program Data. We're going to click on that folder. We're going to click on Into It. We're going to click on Entitlement Client, and then V8. All of these files here contain the license information for all of your QuickBooks products. So the error message is invalid product number means that one of these files has been damaged. In order to fix the problem, we simply click on the first one, we hit the shift key, we click on the last one, and then we delete the files. Point of sale will then recreate those files when we launch it again. So let me close down File Explorer. Let me close down Point of Sale. And then you'll see what happens when I launch it. It will ask you to re-register the product, so make sure that you have your registration information handy. You can see here that it will pop up the registration. So I'm going to say register now. and then I'm going to put in my registration information. It's just that simple to be able to fix this error message. Now there are other reasons you might get this error message, but this is the most common, so I would start with this first. As I said, it's a pretty benign fix, and if it works, then you're back in business. I hope you found this video useful for help with error messages, or purchasing new point of sale hardware or software, please contact us at the information listed.